So much earlier in the week, I did give my predictions for the full card at the UFC Apex this weekend, but of course, a couple of fights fell out, and then the UFC have got some pretty good replacement fights. One of them is going to be Urosh Meric taking on Mutabik Urubai, instead of Urosh Meric taking on his original opponent, Johnny Parsons. So I think this is going to be a pretty good fight. I think Mutabik Urubai has been very much deserving of a UFC opportunity, for a while, I mean, he recently he did move to, uh, he recently moved to the USA to kind of pursue the UFC, fought in the LFA a few times, beat Jalen Fuller, who's a really, really good fighter, and then he beat a couple of guys that just don't really have the best records in the world, but got a couple good highlights there. Motobik Urubai, he can strike, he does have mad power in his hands. But one thing that he does have is pretty good wrestling, and yes, he is willing to do that lay and pray style. Urosh Medic. Urosh Medic is an interesting case, you know, because uh, he was a former lightweight. He was massive at lightweight. Now he's moved up to 170. He just beat Matthew Simmelsberger, which is a really, really good win. I rate Matthew Simmelsberger quite highly. He's a much better fighter than his record does indicate. But he kind of come up on the Alaskan regional scene. We didn't know how good he was going to be. Took on a couple guys that were bottom feeders of the UFC at the time. Then he beat Omar Morales after losing to Jalen Turner, who's really good. And now, we get to see him against Motobik Urubai. Now, the thing is, if Motobik Urubai can't get the takedowns, he probably could get KO'd. Because I do believe that this fight, if it goes in Urubai's favor, is going to look very similar to his fight with Jalen Fuller. And if you do watch that fight, it's not the most exciting fight in the world, I will be honest. But what happens in that one... Is Urubai is just constantly getting takedowns over and over again, and he's just kind of um, just dominating in top position. I think Motobik Urubai can do that as well. I think that he can dominate in top position against Urush Medic. Medic does have some grappling off his back, but I would say he's most dangerous on the feet, and uh, that's probably where he's going to be the biggest threat to Urubai. To my surprise, on like four days' notice, Motobik Urubai has opened as the favorite in this matchup. Motobik Urubai is minus 160, whereas Urush Medic is a slight underdog, so I can understand people picking Medic in this one here. I actually do have Urubai. Now, the thing about Urubai is if I didn't watch his fight with Jalen Fuller again, I would have been on the Medic side. But I watched that fight against Jalen Fuller again, and I do believe that Urubai can get the takedowns and just kind of camp in full guard, camp in half guard, and just dominate in top position. Yes, Urubai's fights can be very boring, but they can also be incredibly exciting. He's got some really, really good KO wins over some lesser opponents, to be fair. But that Jalen Fuller win, I do rate it quite highly. He did take on some guys that were good and some bad guys as well, kind of in the region of Kyrgyzstan before he moved to the USA. I like Urubai here. The big issue is the weight cut. Uh, Urubai has missed weight in the past. He did miss weight against Jalen Fuller, but that was because I believe he had multiple cancelled fights at that period of time, so he was just cutting weight all the time. So he had to cut weight multiple times in a few months, and then the fight just didn't materialize. I've got Urubai. I think that he can win a decision over Urush Medic just by taking him down. That's the pick. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.